Hello, my darlings. My name is Victoria and this is Veritas Tarot. I'm going to do your daily mini reading, your daily mini message. I am going to try and keep it a little shorter. I have found myself slipping back to doing longer readings. I am using the Priestess of Light Oracle for you today and let's see what wants to come out for you. Thank you. If it resonates, as you know, you're simply remembering in divine timing what you need to know at this exact point in your life. If it doesn't resonate, it simply means it wasn't for you at this time there's always a reading out there for you at exactly the right time as guided by spirit my darling as ever so grateful for all of your comments um and i need to silence my phone um so grateful of all your comments and your likes and your sh your shares your subscribes it's that beautiful exchange of energy between us um and um uh, if you would like a personal reading with me, all of the details are in the description box. The card has already come out, so uh, let's move ahead with the reading for you, my darling. So what have we got? We've got, uh, well, we've got two cards, but I'm just going to take the top one, which is building your world, creation, expansion, and network. And the one underneath it, which I'm going to be using as the uh, overall energy for the reading, is grateful optimism, joyous view of the future. So let's take that card. And let's move ahead with the reading for you. So grateful optimism, joyous view of the future. I do apologize. Hang on just one moment. My naughty doggies and they're barking. So grateful optimism. Spirit is wanting you to recognize that whatever you are doing at this moment with building your world, um, look forward to the future with a degree, a big degree of optimism for it, because you're doing something that is inherently beautiful at this time, okay? You're doing something with a joy and an appreciation for what it is in this present moment, but also what it is bringing for you in the future. Grateful optimism, beautiful expression, isn't it? So you're grateful, and you can see here the two herons. One is looking at the back, one is one is looking in the past, one is looking forward into the future. So your, your uh, place of gratitude at the moment for where you are right now, your place of perception of what life is for you, your place of appreciation for everything you do have down to the minutest little detail is creating within you a um a uh feelings of emotions energy emotion of thank you thank you thank you to myself thank you to the universe thank you to everybody who's helped me so far thank you to the lessons uh, thank you to the things I've remembered. Thank you to the expansion. Thank you to the awareness uh, where I am right now. Just thank you. And that gratitude is a very, very, very powerful emotion that encourages more of what you're wanting to come in for you. So that is why to have this grateful optimism, a belief in yourself, a belief and trust that everything is going to work out just the way it should for you, a belief and trust in the universe, and that's you, my darling, experiencing uh, itself through you, um, that joyous view, that expectation, not of any particular outcome, but just that it's all unfolding just as it should be, is what is bringing in. And as I've said before, what you're thinking, saying and doing now, my darling, you're placing in your future. So and she is there with a very and I'm getting the words very lovely, quiet contentment at this time. She is contented with where she is and she is in no rush. For uh, the future to happen, there is a contentedness about the present moment. So just think about where you are presently. And I can feel within me that there is that sense of beautiful sense of satisfaction. And then you've got building your world, creation, expansion and networking. So building. OK, so <laughs> as humans, we are the only species. We're the only thing in the universe, in our universe, that builds things in straight lines. Everything else in the universe is not straight. It's fluid, it's wiggly like a snake. There is nothing in the universe that's kind of just straight structure that hasn't been built by man. Uh, so please tell me if I'm wrong, but we, we created the whole building straight lines and everything. 
So what Spirit is emphasizing here is whatever you're building, the need to be flexible, the need to understand that if you are going to build it naturally, it's not going to necessarily be in a straight line, my darling. Um, and that it is with the understanding with the tree here that everything is connected. Everything is connected for you. You will be offered support if you need it. This, I believe, she's sitting there. It's something to do with the bees. You can see a whole load of bees. And what I think is like honey. Yes, it's honeycomb behind. So she is sitting there in a place of receptivity as well. So this is the bees represent um, the fact that there is community there for you. This networking, you know, bees do what they do for the good of their species. They do it instinctively. They do it joyously as well. Um, sometimes there is deception by the flowers who encourage the bees to come in for their nectar. But uh, there is there an opportunity for you to create something beautiful, something that where you're networking with similar with similar energies, similar intent, similar ideals, ideas, similar beliefs about things. And that is wonderful. So building your world, you are creating and expanding. So I've talked about this before. If you imagine that you are an energetic structure and you are here to experience yourself as that energetic structure, as part of all that is in the universe, um, you are made up of various different uh, you are energy and it is in a certain way in this certain time and once that structure has uh it has a defining purpose once that purpose has been fulfilled that structure will collapse in order for a new expanded structure to happen so what is happening for you right now may be considerable change but it's because the old structure has fallen away in order for this new expanded structure to come in for you and you are we are all here to create. We were created to create. We were created to create because in the creation of it, we are going to experience. And in the experience of it, we receive the knowledge, the awareness. So everything we do in our life is for that awareness, is for our soul to remember what it is, for us to remember what it is, that we're not an individual that is completely separate from all that is we are all that is experiencing itself and therefore it's very important to understand that um that uh what we are doing in a creative space is being inspired by original thought by source energy and that creative expansion because it inspires us is one of the truth life paths in order with little resistance to receive more of an understanding of ourselves and who we are, that big secret of it all. And so wherever you are right now, you are very receptive to answers to that um, inspired choices, inspired decisions that you're making at this time. Now, if there is um, a little bit of, um, how do I say this spirit? If there is a little bit of confusion at this time, if there's a little bit of confusion, confusion comes from um, not, if you're a little confused, you're a little sort of not quite sure what to do next. One of the deepest, one of the greatest things about building a spiritual awareness, because you're building your own world and that includes your spiritual capacity, is to really truly look at the motivation behind it all. So if you're confused at this time, look at the motivation that is behind all of this. What is truly motivating you at this time to move forward? Uh, because sometimes we can deceive ourselves with not admitting to ourselves about what is truly motivating us. But you are doing something inherently beautiful here and you are doing something that is very source led. It's very soul led. So, um, but if you are confused by something or things aren't happening the way that you want them to happen, uh, the pattern of it all is not quite as you imagined it to be. Do have a look at the deepest, deepest level as what is, is, is the motivating uh, factor here for you. Now, the deepest, deepest motivating factor for you is that as this is soul led, uh, you, my darling, are doing this for yourself. So uh, that almost gives you a sense of relief, doesn't it? Oh, I'm just doing it for me so I can actually have some fun with it because that's what we're meant to do. When we're having fun, the universe works fast. Um, there's no rush to this. You're building something. Now, when we build, okay, it comes back to a building and a structure. Uh, that structure has to have 
plans, doesn't it? So it's about preparation and plans as well. Uh, and we tend to bring in special people like architects, etc., to help us. So be willing and open to uh, network and to for the right person to come along. Whatever you're doing, my darling, okay? And not necessarily an architect for whatever you're doing. This is an analogy, but you understand what I mean. And, um, and then it is about, there's no rush in building, is there? It's all done quite methodically and it's all done and everything, every single brick or every single uh, nail or screw or whatever has a purpose. And that's in the detail of it. So do take your time with this. Don't rush this and understanding that what has to happen first is the foundation of it all. And is that foundation of it all uh, what is motivating you and also the belief in yourself because you have to believe in yourself for this and that is why spirit wants you to have grateful optimism for the future because if we are truly honest with ourselves when we are grateful for something it is because we have received something because we feel that we have achieved something received something that has allowed us to feel better in some way to feel joy in some way to feel happy in some way also understanding that in your face of creation um, and in your place of expansion and networking with change, there are challenges. Change and challenges go hand in hand. But the challenges, my darling, the challenges are the context by which they are the opportunity. Sorry, it's my son texting me. It is the opportunity by which you can get to know yourself. We are given these challenges, they're huge growth opportunities for us. So um, I feel that's it for you. I'm just thinking if there's anything else. There has been a lot of things that have happened uh, in the dark. You are, um, thank you, Spirit. You are um, pure in your intent. And I, I can feel that with what she is wearing here, you're, you're pure in your intent. Um, but I want you just to look at uh, the, um, look at the overall, look at the overall, sorry, and I didn't turn it off on my computer. You are pure in your intent. So remember that with authentic approach that you're taking at this time, maybe don't be distracted by other things you know you've got this woman sitting here with all the little bees doing all the work around her but they're creating something beautiful they're creating a beautiful structure and you will be sent those that you need to be sent at the time you need it who are going to be able to do an awful lot of stuff for you and but bees rely um uh i'm i'm gonna have to tell him off <laughs> he knows i'm reading the moment bees rely on on flowers don't they to get the nectar and produce the honey. So there is going to be a reliance on others in this situation for you. you. You will have to rely on others. And it is a reminder for us as well that everything within this universe, within our world, is completely interdependent on everything else. Uh, everything is interdependent on everything else. And it comes back to what I talked about yesterday about the duality of everything and how can we know ourselves or get to know ourselves or become more aware of ourselves unless it's in relationship to another. But also there is a complete interdependence for us on others for things, just like there is in nature for things, just like the bees depend on the nectar from the flower uh, to produce the honey. Um, and then they produce something really rather magical, don't they, with the, with the, with the honeycomb. So, and all of that has a, uh, thank you, Spirit, has a beautiful natural pattern to it, a beautiful symmetrical pattern, and it all connects just the way it should do, just like these tree roots. So it's a reminder for you that everything is connecting for you exactly how it should do and there is nothing really you need to do at this stage other than be aware that you are creating you are building you are expanding and there is networking involved and to have a joyous view for the future because with that gratitude of where you are now and the belief in yourself my darling you can achieve something that is so beautiful and I'm just coming back to that wonderful honeycomb as well. And something that is going to be of great use to others as well as what I'm receiving, something that people can enjoy, something that is the sweet nectar of life, something, you know, everybody loves honey. Um, and it is something that is uh, um, received with great gratitude. So what you are giving, you are receiving back. 
as well is another message for you. So I apologize for the little interruptions with the text messages there. I um, trust that uh, it has resonated for those that have been guided to come and see this reading. And I look forward to doing you another daily message tomorrow. So much love, my darlings. Take care. Bye bye.